tradies who say they were left high and dry by a bloke they trusted. And the worst part, this isn't the first time Frank has left his work. Is out of pocket. Frank Madinik, NAD, INIC. He plays the system to his advantage, and in the process, he's destroying people's lives. That hurts a lot, yeah. Cool stuff. See all that bloody concrete there? I put that in. All those pumps and fuel systems, I put those in. Plumbing and roofing, we did all that. It began with a basic brief from Frank Nadinik, build a service station. I done all the structural steel of this place. And I done all the electricals. I did all the panelling you see behind me, the red, the white and the blue. And it ended, claim these contractors in the ultimate servo drive-off. And he still owes me 85000 He still owes me 147000 He still owes me $130,000. Oh, he's, he's a professional. Yeah. Yeah. Professional what? Scumbag. N-A-D I-N-I-C The service station is up and running and so too claim these contractors is Frank Nadidik. He gets you sucked in, gives you half your money as you're going along and then come the end of the job he does a runner. He goes underground like worms do. Chris McLean installed the whole fuel system, all the electrics and all the pumps. We've done our job perfectly as, as, as quoted on budget and in time. The panelling work was Robert Brodecki's first major job. He and his partner worked for a month until 8 o'clock every night. It pretty much almost sunk us. We, uh, we've only been operating just under a year. And basically every last cent I had in savings had to go back into the company just to keep us afloat. Now the contractors have joined forces, united if you like, to get paid. And the feelings are high octane. He's a low life and he needs to be brought to account for all this for everyone's sake. 30 years and I've never seen anybody like that. It'd be good if he could just fall off the planet. The contractor signed agreements with a company called Subcontract yeah. Services, trading as Octane Australia Proprietary Limited. Octane won the tender to build the service station. Nadinik wasn't the director of subcontracting services, but according to these contractors, he ran the project, including signing crucial documents. And this is Nadinik like on site, yeah. having a run-in with a union okay. official. Yeah. How can you sleep straight at night? Seriously. Beautifully. Yeah. I sleep Seriously. like a log. These days, Cranky Frank operates from an office in the centre of Melbourne, above a bottle shop. Subcontracting services is now in voluntary liquidation, and at least seven contractors claim they've been hammered, altogether for almost half a million dollars. Here's a little hangover from the last time we exposed him. You're causing carnage in the building industry, Frank. I don't agree with you. With Max Drum. I don't agree with you. Conflict with contractors and subbies isn't new to Nadinik. Past companies he's been involved with have left a trail of destruction with contractors. Among them, Sparky, Joe Karak. 233000 Cabinet maker, John Florio. About $250,000. And plumber, Michael McGeary. About $120,000. Sell that, Frank. It's not a building site. Maxra has, in fact, morphed into Octane Australia Proprietary Limited. Now the contractors want their money, but who do they pursue? They side with subcontracting services trading as Octane Australia. So what company was the name of this company? But subcontracting services is in liquidation. Octane Australia, though, doesn't appear to be a registered business name. Work that one out. Apart from collapsing companies with big debts, then rising from the ashes under a different name, this is what riles creditors, the lovely lifestyle of Frank Nadinik. A Bentley for him and a Maserati for his son Andrew, who was a director of Extra. And what about your luxury cars? That really sticks in the craw of all of these subcontractors and their families. Mm. But you've got the Bentleys and your son's got the Maserati. You might even have a Porsche to your Frank as well. You've also got a bicycle as well. From Maxtra to subcontracting services. Different company, different contractors, but a very similar story. It's gut wrenching, it's not it's not right. So how many companies exist now, Frank? Um, I'm not sure I can't sort of count past five. This series of confrontations on the servo project was filmed by a CFMEU organizer concerned about workplace safety and the welfare of workers. Full concrete.
concrete at Elf Dean House. The servo job was pretty bad. Elf might be a concreter, but he's a big softy when it comes to the most important asset in his life, his farm. That job he did for Nadinic, the concreting job, was supposed to be his superannuation. Instead, he claims it took his superannuation along with his farm. That's just something I've built up over you know, 45 years of my life. When you have lived here for 64 years. Yeah, since I was a kid, since yeah. my dad bought the place. Like the other contractors, Elf claims he paid all his subbies, his suppliers and his tradies who worked on the job. His daughter Sally Stevens is devastated for him. I've never seen him so hurt by anything. And, you know, I've watched him bury his parents. I've been to anything that, you know, you would think would break his heart. And I've never seen anything destroy him like this. What about our governments? What are they doing to help blokes like you? They're, they're not doing anything. You know, the, you, you bring up, you bring up uh, this kind of thing to their attention and they either run and hide or it's too hard or they can't hold him accountable due to loopholes and, uh, and you know, directed ships, shadow directorships and, and what have you. Oh, current affair. Okay, mate. Yeah, you on TV. Yeah, so it's Frank. Frank, you know it's me, mate. Still chasing you. Still looking for that 137 grand, mate. Don't be a boy. Ring me up. We rang Frank and got the same response. The voicemail. And we should point out that none of the contractors has an issue with United. Their beef is with Frank Nadinic, N-A-D-I-N-I-C. Those poor people, those contractors will pursue Frank in court.